this is Laura and today we're going to be making an abstract collage and so this is my example and what you will need today is you will need some kind of base so you could have a piece of watercolor paper a piece of cardboard which is what I have um, I'm kind of encouraging people right now to just find scraps in their house because it's become really difficult to go to the store. A lot of the art supply stores aren't open right now. So look around your house and see what you have. Um, so this is just uh, cardboard from the back of a drawing pad. And then I got a bunch of materials, uh, wrapping paper. This is a collage piece from a magazine. Here's the wrapping paper. Here's some more wrapping paper. You'll be surprised what you can find when you start digging around. Um, aluminum foil, great for collage. Uh, sandpaper, we used this in the project a couple of weeks ago. So that's kind of a really fun, interesting material to use. Uh, what else we've got here? Um, here's some just lined paper and newspaper another really good one you've got pictures you've got text i found some cool images uh silhouette of some cowboys and these are some floral forms um, some more wrapping paper this gives you a good idea of the things you can look around for in your house um so i would encourage you to start by just accumulating a bunch of different materials you can use for the collage and then cut out a bunch of shapes so then you have a whole language going on so here's all my shapes so here's your language right here and then another idea I had is if you want to add a little bit of color, you know, if all you can find is like newspaper, white paper, and you want to add a little bit of color, you could take markers, you could take crayon, and just add a little bit of color. So here I'm adding some color to this notebook paper, a little bit of a pattern. So here we have a diamond with a pattern on it. And the way I always start my abstract artworks is I just put down one shape. So that becomes your anchor. So I'm gonna take this one. And the other thing you're gonna to need today is you need some kind of glue. So it could just be a glue stick, it could be Elmer's glue. You could use some kind of acrylic medium. You're bound to have something in your house. All right, so here's my anchor shape. So don't even think about having any kind of representational image. This is just about shape, relationships, some color. It's kind of like you're putting a puzzle together. All right, so here's my start. So here's that shape. And then I respond to that shape. So I'm going to put this is a wall of uh, wrapping paper strip. I'm going to put that down. And maybe you don't even really want to add color. Maybe you want to do a super super neutral collage. So then I'm adding another form. And I always encourage people, try to cover up the surface as much as possible. This is kind of nice. This is like a sequin jacket. It was a fashion image and I cut this kind of eye shape out. Really beautiful. So you really just keep building your artwork. And the fun thing about collage is there's really no mistakes. You can just keep covering things up. So if there's something you don't like, you can obliterate it, cover it up. So here I have a really good start going and I'm just gonna keep filling in the space 
And if I'm not happy with what I have, just keep working back on top of it. And that's really what I did here. Uh, this one I'm using kind of fancier materials. It's all uh, mulberry paper that I have. Um, but with this one, I was trying to encourage you to think about materials you might have in your house. So um, think about an anchor shape, think about building the composition, approach it like it's a puzzle and let it be meditative and just something that you can be really mesmerized and engrossed in. Um, and that's really what's the most important part is to just be creative and allow yourself some freedom. So I hope everybody's doing well and you're doing okay with socially isolating and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye!